Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's have a quick update on the Bitcoin price because it looked like that we were in here in this potential falling wedge when we broke out from this uh, support here at $9,670. Yesterday I published uh, my potential chart here that could break out to the upside in trading view also in our discord trading chat so make also sure to subscribe to the discord trading chat you find the link down below here is completely for free and everyone is so welcome so currently it looks like that we could see here the breakout of this pattern and the target is to reach here this potential 20 moving average in the four hour time frame at around 9330 this is my target for this uh, breakout of course the more bullish target would be up here at the resistance of around nine thousand nine hundred dollar to potentially break it or get rejected again here in this area but since we are now currently trading below this important moving averages and also yesterday we had a close below the 20 daily moving average i'm trying to catch a short here and to write it down in case that we're gonna really meet my target of approximately eight thousand to six thousand dollars i already have all the fiat that i have on the sideline set at six thousand dollars to buy so in case that we're gonna just have a week down or we're dropping towards 6k my fiat will be converted back into bitcoin so all the fiat that i took off here at around nine thousand nine hundred dollar i'm buying again at around six thousand dollar if we're gonna moon from here i'm also fine because i just sold a little bit of my portfolio so i'm fine with that as well but if we're going down to 6k i try to get as much bitcoins as possible from this potential dump that is in front of us it's not yet clear that we're going that low but we started already this dump and i think it's not over yet it's also depending what the stock market is doing currently it doesn't look so good so i think if the stock market is going to crash again maybe also in bitcoin we're going to have another crash maybe a final crash before the beginning of the real bull run and for sure you want to be part of the next bull run so you want to have as much bitcoin as possible accumulated right now so here in the one hour you can see that after this uh, breakout here if we check the volume you see that we didn't have much volume but we are currently trading above the 20 moving average in the one hour which is the first step and it's a good step that we now broke out from this resistance and we're trading now above the 20 moving average stochastic is overbought and orisa is right at the 50 so we have to close this hourly candle above 9114 in order to be shifted to the upside also to meet my target but in case that we're gonna close again below the 20 moving average so below $9,100 I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see another retest of this 8,800 and potentially even drop down towards 8,600 so that's why I, I already opened our short position and I'm gonna scale it in up to the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame in the one hour you can see that we're fighting with the Bollinger Band here MACD had a bullish cross and currently we are shifted to the upside so we have to break this 9200 in order to be shifted towards 9400 to 500 this is the next step to be reached because the previous support is now acting as a resistance so it is very possible that we go up towards 9500 to get rejected there in case that this is a valid resistance now so if we go over to the four hour you can see here that we bounce now from oversold condition here in the rsi so the 50 level could give us resistance which is also coinciding here with the 20 moving average in the four hour at 9330 dollar so this is what i'm waiting for i'm waiting here to reach this price and i'm gonna scale in my short up to this level in case that we start to close a four hour candle above the 20 moving average in the four hour i consider they're possible to close my short and look for a long but currently i'm still thinking that most likely we're gonna get rejected here so the 20 moving average in the four hour should be a very strong resistance now so also this area up here at around 9500 will be now the big resistance to break and even if we would break that one uh, watch out here for this $9,900 which could be still the very strong resistance here that we're still not able to break but this is what we have to see once we can start to trade again above the 20 moving average in the four hour and if we go over to the Bollinger Band 
here you can see that we just retraced back here to this area of around 9200 so we could even go up here to the middle of 9430 and this would be still very bearish here in case that we get rejected up to this level MACD could have a bullish cross this is what we have to see but even if we go up here to 9400 and get rejected here we're still trading here in the lower part so we could easily also drop again towards 8890 dollars and if we go over to the daily time frame here you can see that after we had this golden cross we had an initial uh, dump here so it could be over but i think that we still could go down to test again here the 50 and 200 daily moving average potentially even week down but the thing is that we close now below the 20 daily moving average so today we have to close again above the 20 daily so above 9130 if not if we're gonna close below then prepare to see at least a retest of the 200 daily here at eight thousand dollar potentially even to meet my final target here at the 0.618 fib line of six thousand two hundred dollar this is where i have all my fiat yet set if we drop lower then i don't care because i already bought here everything but in case that we're gonna have a big big bounce already here at seven thousand seven hundred to seven thousand dollar and we're not gonna touch the 0.618 fib line i consider maybe to put everything in here at around seven thousand seven hundred dollar because this could be really the last time that we see bitcoin uh, so cheap the bullish thing here in the daily is that we are bouncing now from the 50 in the RSI so we cannot now drop below the 50 otherwise we could see a big waterfall to the downside. Stochastic is in oversold condition so in theory from here we could see a big bounce to the upside which I also hope to even though I am short but in case that we're gonna lose here the 50 in the RSI and also start to trade below the 20 daily moving average we could stay here between the 200 and 20 for quite some time before we're gonna see a potential breakout to the downside or to the upside and don't forget that we still have a lot of longs compared to shorts so in case that the price gonna continue to drop a couple of percentage then be aware that we could see a big waterfall just because of this big amount of longs that we have currently that would get liquidated or stopped out and if we go over to the bollinger band in the daily time frame here also you can see that we're trading currently still in this lower part of the bollinger band we didn't even test yet the middle line here at 9300 up to 9470 so as you know the old support is now new resistance so if we are getting rejected here prepare to trade again below nine thousand dollar towards eight thousand macd is still shifted to the downside so in the daily the bollinger band and macd doesn't look so good currently and if we go over to the weekly time frame here you can see that most likely we're gonna close this weekly candle in red the important thing is that we're gonna close above the 20 weekly so above 8170 doesn't matter what will happen till then but on sunday we must close above the 20 weekly otherwise this could be a very bearish sign and we could be now shifted again to the downside to see potential even lower lows so i'm hoping that we're just gonna have a week down towards the 0.618 fib line at 6230 and then come immediately immediately back up here to close the candle above the 20 weekly moving average because a close below this could also indicate for a long term bear trend that could take us even lower than 6230 so let's hope that's not the case and that we're just gonna see a week if we're going that low also RSI here is still above the 50 which is very bullish stochastic is overbought so it is possible that we bring down first here the stochastic back to oversold condition test the 20 weekly stay above the 15 rsi and then bounce again to the upside but this is what we're gonna have to see once we are closing this weekly candle so far we are good to go because we're still above the 20 weekly and also above the 50 weekly here at 8750 everything is still in a very bullish mode here and also if we go over to the weekly time framing in the bollinger band you can see that we are still trading here at the upper area so even if we go down towards eight thousand one hundred dollar here in the middle area we could still have a big bounce to the upside and also the macd still shifted to the upside here so all in all in the bigger time frames it's still looking very bullish even though i'm still convinced that we're gonna see maybe one final dump or dip down towards 8000 maybe even 6000 if it's going to be a fast one and that's why i think you already should start to put in your buy orders 
or at least be ready to trade with leverage if you want to use just a small amount and you don't want to convert back into fiat so if you want to keep your bitcoins and just trade with them then of course you need to trade with leverage like here on Bybit or Femex and remember if you're still in that account over on Femex or Bybit you find all the invitation links down below here in the video description because with my sign up links you can get some sign up bonuses and also some rewards so make sure to use the links down below here if you want to open an account you can even open an account in all of these four exchanges and do multiple trades because in all of them you get some sign up bonus and you can start to trade with that money completely riskless so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to join our free discord trading chat you find the link also down below in the video description and also the live streams that we're doing over on twitch make sure also to join me over on twitch so thank you very much for watching again thank you very much for your support guys and we see us all in the next one bye